Hello everyone, my name is Ming. Today is another Capture One tutorial for you. How I edit winter black and white photos in Capture One. If you want to know more about Capture One, check out the link mcai.info slash c1. And currently Capture One is doing a promotion. You can buy Capture One and get film styles for free. Styles are pretty much like presets for Capture One. This applies to Capture One Pro, Capture One for Sony, and Capture One for Fujifilm. Check out the promotion in the description below. And also this promotion runs until January 31st, 2019. So if you are thinking about getting the Capture One, buy it now so you can get some free stuff. All right, now let's jump into the video. All right, now this is the first photo we will be looking at. And the first thing I'm gonna do is go to this color tool tab and it come down to this black and white tool. If you don't have this tool, just right click on the empty space, add tool and then go to uh, black and white. Now you can add black and white tool from there. So the first thing is I'm going to check enable black and black and white. And this, this is going to convert this photo from color to black and white. And the next thing is to go to this exposure tool tab and then come down to the levels. First thing I'm going to do is click on A for auto. It will automatically set your black point, midpoint, and the white point. And in this case, what I usually do is I will pull the black point further in just a little bit and then move the midpoint towards the right hand side just a little bit to add further contrast. So maybe like that. And right now this image is very bright and I'm going to add a heavy vignette to this black and white photo to add contrast to add uh, to make it more dramatic. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on this plus sign to create a new layer and then click on this icon and then if if you don't have this uh, um, radio uh, radio gradient mask tool selected you can right click and then select draw radio gradient mask or you can press T the keyboard shortcut the default shortcut is T and now I'm gonna draw a, a radio gradient mask I'm gonna draw a pretty big mask right here I'm gonna make it even bigger maybe All right, maybe like that. I think that's too wide. Gonna narrow it down just a little bit. And then let's see how that goes. And then you can press M to see your mask. Okay, maybe like that. So currently I have selected everything in the circle. Now right click on this layer and then go to invert mask. So you can select everything that is outside of the outside of the um, the circle. Now press M again to deselect the mask, and now we are going to the exposure tool, and I'm gonna decrease the exposure by one stop. One stop, or come on, just give me one stop. All right. Now I'm gonna select the background layer and now I'm going to add overall vignette to this black and white photo. So come down to this vignetting tool. If you don't have it, right click on empty space, add a tool, and then you can add a vignette from there. Now uh, move the slider towards the left hand side to add vignette to this photo. So I'm gonna go about maybe one stop as well. Now select the layer I just draw, press M to see the mask. I want to add clarity to this area. Press M again to deselect and then I can come down to clarity tool and I can add clarity. As I add in clarity you can see the sky becomes more dramatic. I can also create a new layer right click on this icon grab the brush I'm gonna make the size a little bit bigger 
and then I can draw on this area press M to C and I can add clarity even more All right, maybe like that. Now, if you want to make these rocks brighter, you can add a new layer. You can either grab a brush and a paint on these rocks, or you can select a, a, a radio gradient mask again. In this case, I'm gonna just draw a radio gradient mask somewhere around that and then put it on the rocks and increase brightness mm, that's too bright like that and then select the background layer I'm gonna recover the highlight a little bit. Well, actually, instead of recovering the highlight, I'm going to update my black point, uh, sorry, update my white point. So maybe somewhere around that. All right, so this is before a flat, a little bit boring photo, and this is a dramatic black and white, edit it in Capture One. Now, if you want to have some split toning, you can do that under this color tool tab. And then um, still in this black and white tool, you can go to split tones, and then you can add a little bit, for example, I can add a little bit warmer tone to the highlight. And I can add a little bit cooler on the blue to the shadow. Let's see how that works. All right, I'm gonna turn down a little bit for the highlight, add a little bit more for the shadow to overall make it look more blue. All right, that's it. So this is before, this is after. All right, this is the next photo that I'm going to edit in Capture One. The first thing you probably already noticed is the heavy vignetting around the corners. This photo was taken with Nikon 24-70 f4s lens and at, at f4, you can see there is a heavy vignetting around the corners. Luckily, this is very easy to fix. Just go to this lens tool tab and then in the lens correction tool tab, uh, the lens correction tool, you can move this light fall off slider towards the right hand side to remove the vignetting around the corners. So I'm going to do, let's see, maybe around 50. All right. And then I'm going to go to this color tool tab and then go to black and white and then click on enable black and white and then convert this image to black and white. And the next thing I'm gonna do is to crop this photo. Uh, the reason is I don't like these trees on the uh, near the right edge because I think these leaves here and these trees being not vertical is kind of distracting. So I'm gonna grab the crop tool and then I'm probably I'm gonna select uh, aspect ratio three by four and then I can crop. The reason I want to select a three by four is I can have uh, much sky uh, as I want in the photo. So let's move this frame. I just want to crop the trees on the right hand side and maybe like that. Okay. Now the next thing is I want to brighten this photo. So go to the exposure tool tab and under exposure, I want to raise brightness. Oh, before I do that, I usually go to levels tool and click on A for auto. And 
usually I will grab the black point and move it towards the right hand, right hand side a little bit further and the midpoint to add some contrast. All right, maybe the black point is too much. Move it back a little bit. Now I'm gonna raise brightness. So use the brightness tool and move it towards the right hand side. All right, that's probably it. And maybe increase the shadow just a little bit. All right, now I found that these trees are still a little bit too dark compared to the trees surrounding it. So I'm gonna going to create a new layer and then I'm going to grab a brush tool, right click, change the size of, of the brush and then uh, make it smaller and then paint on the area that I want to edit and then press M to see your mask. All right, and then I'm going to raise brightness again. That's too much. Back a little bit. All right. All right, now I think this photo is near complete. And the next thing is I'm going to remove these little spots on the ground. Select the background layer I'm going to zoom into 100% to grab the spot removal tool and I'm just going to remove those just to make this um, just want to make the snow look very clean. Okay, let's check out this is before and this is after. I hope you like the editing of this photo. All right, guys, that's it for today. Again, if you want to know more about Capture One, check out the link mcai.info slash c1. And currently, if you buy Capture One, you can get film styles for free. The promotion runs until January 31st, 2019. Check out more information about the promotion in the description. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button below. If you are the first time on my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy photography. See you next time. Bye.